guys what is going on it is obadiah and today we are back on the center playing some arc so i didn't post an arc video yesterday my internet went out and i wasn't able to get on and play or anything all day it took all day for the internet to be fixed it was terrible and then i got a cold and i've had a cold all day so if you hear me getting a little sniffly or sounding a little muffled and sick it's because i am and on top of it all it's my birthday that's right it is my birthday I'm now a ripe old age of 173, and uh, that's cool. So, today what I think I want us to do is to, uh, I don't know. I actually hadn't really thought about it, to be honest. <laughs> I just don't want to play some arc. I'm thinking maybe we do a water pen. I don't yet have a water pen, and I'm thinking maybe we build one. Well, we got a little bit of framiness. So. I'm not really sure where we want to build it. We don't want to build it down here beneath the waterfall because then we won't be able to get any dinos up. So if we're going for close proximity, then I'm thinking we want to build out here. I don't even know if it's a good spot. I haven't really looked around. All right, let's go ahead and look around right now. Um, let's see. Let's do that. Nope. Can we land? Please land. Okay, let's land in a place where, oh, okay, okay, well, this is a terrible idea. Okay, let's l just look under the water. So here it looks too shallow, and too shallow is no good. We want to be able to fit some mosses in there, because we, 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 we want a good amount of stuff. Now, I always get all sorts of water stuff and then never use it, but uh, I don't care about that. Okay, perfect, let's land right here and just kind of poke our head in the water. Land, please. See right here, this isn't too bad. We could just build a little water pen coming right up onto the the, uh, the little island here. That might be a good spot. Oh, okay, I'm gonna need to bring some dino that swims fast on underwater because I don't go that fast. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a bunch of building materials ready. Look around, try to find a good spot, and then I'll bring y'all back and hopefully we can build ourselves a water pen pretty easily. Okay, so I went and grabbed some scuba gear and I grabbed some behemoth gates and gate frames. Just what I had already. I didn't bother to make anything else. Um, I don't even know if I have any materials right now. I might have to do a bunch of gathering, but I figure uh, I finally found a use for the Pelagornis because I can just have this guy on top of the water, which is the coolest thing about them. And I've always thought, why do I need that? And this is a good reason. Granted, I could also use a raft or I don't know, a million other methods, but I figure we've got him. We've got one, so we're gonna use it. So we did grab our highest level Pelagornis and our extra male, because we had two males. And, uh, oh, where'd he go? There you are. Make sure to put him on follow. And also, we got some scuba duba gear. Let's throw it on. Feet. Perfect. Okay, now let's look around. So, oh, this area is pretty. Oh, shark. Okay, besides that shark right there, the area doesn't seem very dangerous at all. This is kind of a good area. I like the idea of building right off of, right off of this island. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if that's deep enough. Okay, so I'm guessing this is deep enough to fit even a Masa. I don't remember how like tall they are, how deep they are. But this seems pretty deep, right? Uh, so let's just kind of start. I don't even know. I should have brought a pick or something to take care of these rocks, but that's not that big of a deal. Okay, so let's go on the other side of the island and see how it looks over there. Oh, it goes pretty deep over here too. Hmm. Not 100% sure exactly what I want to do. Ah, mantis. I do know I want to stay away from mantis. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and and just pick a spot. And I pick right here. This is the spot which I'm going to pick. Let's let's start from the bottom, try to get this thing level. Is that touching the ground? Let's start right here. No, on this side. How's that look? How far can we scroll out? Yeah, see that looks that looks like a good place to start. Maybe a little more this way. Okay, now let's go all the way to the shore. 
because we want to block it off all the way to here. Beautiful. So that's one gate. Uh, and here's two gates. Let's check it out. Ah, oh no. Now this one, I need to start like down here. Let's do one of these. Kind of move forward a bit. Move forward a bit. Line it up real good. So this isn't going to be perfect. This is really difficult to see. There we go. I want it to overlap like that. There's going to be some gaps for sure. But I think that's okay. Uh, uh, trying to move around and swimming in K-Mode is very difficult. The reason I think it's going to be okay is because we'll just leave a couple things on neutral inside the pen, taming, or in the, the water pen, and that should take care of any issues that we've got. And I'm not really worried about honestly being perfectly straight. We really just need a water box. It's more of a water box than anything else. So let's go. No, no, no. Uh, back. Back. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my water box set up with what I have now and see if we need to build more stuff. Okay, so we went ahead and placed our behemoth gates. I just realized something I did not think of. Let's check this out. Cause this might be a problem. Let's pick the sucker up. Can I stack these? Oh, I cannot stack them. Hmm. You know what that means? So I was, uh, we're gonna have to do something I was kind of trying to avoid, but it'll be better in the long run anyways. I think we're gonna have to take this down and do it the old fashioned way. And where's my bird? Come here, bud. Uh, come here. Okay, let's put you on lowest. Yeah. Come here, come here, come here. Come on, stay. <laughs> so I think we're gonna have to use the old pillar method, which is gonna be a little bit, uh, a little bit different and take a cool little bit longer, but I'm gonna go ahead and build a bunch of stuff for it and then I'll bring y'all back. All right, guys. So I am out collecting stone, but I spotted, it might be out of render range now, but there is an alpha Rex over here. I have no idea what level or anything. Oh, you can kind of see it in the back there. Um, but obviously we're gonna take the time to kill it. Um, go ahead and roll this, oh, come on. Come on, keep going. We're gonna go ahead and roll this sucker back home and get ourselves a, uh, Jagiganotosaurus, our best one, obviously. And let's take the sucker out. Here we go. I hope it's a really high level, because I wanna, I wanna have a good fight. First thing, let's love, let's melee this guy up a bit, and this would probably get this guy to max level. There it is. Okay, what level is it? Level twelve. Dang, I don't know if we can handle a level 12. All right. Oh, oh. is that a Rex egg? I don't need it, I kind of want it. You're going down. You know, it's going to K-Mo for this. Ugh. Oh yeah. That took all of no time at all. All right, let's go ahead and level this guy up. Still not max leveled, really. Uh, did, did he get anything in the inventory? I should have stopped and gone check the body. Nope. Anyways, that was kind of cool. All right, back to uh, getting stone and making stuff. All right, we are back and we did end up bringing the quets back because, well, we just needed to. Um, so I made some of these large stone pillars. Now I gotta find out where I want them. I'm thinking right there just like that and then we can do a ceiling and a ceiling and then we can build down down here snap please and snap please uh, this is the problem with doing pillars they never want to snap and do go where you want them to go oh oh you see i had it for a second there for just one shiny second it was like i want to be right here just want to be right there Right there, come on, up, uh, slow, up, uh. right there. Okay, how's that? Beautiful. Now that's not all the way to the ground, which I'm not a huge fan of, uh, but let's see how this plays out. So now I should be able to do one there. 
Now, I want to do one every ceiling. Is this going to not let me snap every single time? And I, I want to... I need to do another layer down. I don't know why it's not letting me. Maybe I have to make some smaller pillars. Uh, but no nearby foundation support? Of course not, because this is not letting me go all the way to the ground. Okay. So I, I first... I, I hate pillars. I hate them, but when this is done, it'll look so much better. So it looks like I need to get some either regular pillars or short pillars or something because this is not gonna let me do exactly what I wanna do. And of that, I am not a huge fan. Unless I just need to wait and get just the, just the right angle. Come on. Come on down. Uh, all right, I guess I'm flying back to make some more pillars <laughs> of just a smaller variety. All right, we are back with more pillars. So I made some small ones, which are too small, it appears. Uh, I don't know if that's touching the ground or not. And we also made some medium ones. Oh, I just got this to snap. Oh, there it was. Did you see it? Did you see the snap? I don't understand why pillars are the worst thing in ARC. I mean, just figure it out. Just make it work. And snap, it snapped for a second and I was so happy. Snap. Okay, let's, do, let's look up this way, maybe. Okay, snap. Okay, it snapped there. Snap down. A little closer. A little closer. Down. You guys saw it snap, right? I'm not... Uh, what? I'm not crazy, right? Come on. Do me a snap. Oh, wait, what is that? What's it snapping to up there? Don't snap up there. Snap down here. Maybe we come from this direction. I don't understand why it would not snap right there. Ah! Oh. Got it! It snapped! We have three. Okay, so we're gonna need many more than that. So it looks like the medium pillars are better than the small. Let's drop the small in there. Let's grab a few large. Oh, too many. Too many large. And then let's grab some ceilings. Ceiling, ceilings. Okay, can we move? I feel like we're not gonna be able to move. Let's do... That many of those, and we'll do like that many of those. Okay, let's start with this. All right, so we so far we've got three of these done, and oh, oh, let's do one of these and one of those, and then we will do large, big old pillars. Okay, on the ceiling, please. Oh, right there. And now, hopefully, these medium ones should snap super duper easy. Oh, look at that. Isn't that a beaut? Oh, look. Oh, no. Now there's another gap. Okay, so let's say, can we pick up the medium one and then drop a large in there? Because I wouldn't be opposed to that. A large and then another large? It's fine. It's getting deeper and deeper, you know. Come on. Do it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and play around with this and get some of these suckers laid down and then I'll bring you back. Okay, so we have got our wall on this side completed and uh, this little manta is freaking terrorizing me. So I'm thinking we're gonna build the on this side only going this high and that way we can stick one of the behemoth gates on it. It should be sticking out of the water about the same height, maybe a little higher than this is along the top of the water. Um, we are def most definitely going to go have to make more, make, blah, blah, blah. we are definitely going to have to go back and make some more pillars and whatnot, because, uh, we do have some more on the, ah, get out of here. We do have some more on the Quetzal. Haha, <laughs> you can't get through there. So that's the point of the wall, sucker. But not a whole lot more. Come on. And getting these things to snap right where I want them is being awful. But uh, let's see, no nearby foundation support. What? It's it, right there. There's your foundation support. Huh. All right, let's pick this up, sucker up. Let's try a large layer. Yeah, now we got foundation support now? Yeah, how about that? Now we got foundation support. All right, so I guess larges are the way to go. Okay, let's see if this will snap now. Just like that. And the height is, oh, perfect. That's what the height is, it's absolutely perfect. Um, so I'm gonna go grab some more pillars, keep working our way around, 
get this thing built up. Should I go too wide of the gates? Maybe I'll go too wide and then back up. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep putting stuff together and uh, then I will bring y'all back. All right, guys, so we have worked our way all the way around until we got, oh, there's a little bit of a gap here. I didn't even notice that. What the heck? Okay, uh, do we have more stuff on us? And now let's do, ooh, we're out of big pillars. We only have the medium ones. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, what if we do this? Oh. So, I was gonna say we're all done, but apparently we, ra oh no, now I'm trying to rush it. I'm putting stuff in the wrong place. Things are getting demolished. Okay, let's throw one of those right there. And maybe a small one. And if we work up, yes. Building up is so much easier. There we go. It's sticking out a little bit, but that's okay. For that one, we'll let it slide. Uh, and I think it's fine. Maybe I'll adjust it later if I decide I don't like the way it looks. But check it out. We went all the way around. We got our gates set up. And uh, we didn't measure it quite right. So this one comes have to come out this way a little bit. You also would have just kept going this way forever. But I put it essentially all the way into the ground. Check it out because of the no clip stuff with Structures Plus. Um, eventually, we might put a gate along the front here. But honestly, I don't think anyone's going to bother if we just leave the stuff here. We'll put an offline raid protection obelisk little thing over here and should be good to go. All right, guys, if you did enjoy the video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, if you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe. You can also hit me up on all your social medias, your Twitter, your Instagram, your Facebook, and even your Google Plus, even though no one ever uses it. Um, and you can also check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash Obadiah X. Uh, and uh, anyways, guys, I really do appreciate you coming to hang out with me today. And if you did enjoy what you saw, um, go ahead and share the video and uh, do what you want to do. But for today, guys, I do think that is going to be it. And until next time, I will see you later.